after she didn't return to her Florida home from a cross country trip with her boyfriend, Brian Laudry, who is also missing after not cooperating with investigators. Authorities are having a news conference right now. We'll have the latest tonight at 10. A military jet crashes in Texas in a Texas neighborhood. The pilot and the student are recovering in the hospital right now. It happened this morning in a neighborhood just outside of Fort Worth. Investigators say the two were conducting a routine training flight when they both ejected themselves from the jet before the crash. One getting caught in some power lines. The other was later found in the neighborhood. Three homes were damaged. The pilot is in stable condition right now. The student's condition is not known, but the Navy releasing a statement saying that he is alive and receiving treatment. The Navy is helping with this investigation. Here in Baton Rouge, a family arrives home and finds their house on fire. Firefighters were called to the home on Stern Street after 2.30 today. They quickly put out the flames in the front of the home before it spread to the rest of the house. We're told the family arrived on the scene a short time later. Investigators have not determined how the fire started. State health leaders are trying to get back on track with giving COVID-19 tests and the vaccine. The latest report from the Department of Health shows more than 1,300 people in Louisiana are in the hospital with the virus. 251 of those patients are on ventilators. 88% of hospitalizations are people who are not fully vaccinated. Hurricane Ida shut down centers and power outages for some pharmacies to have to throw out dozens of vaccines. Over the past couple of weeks, some sites have been able to reopen, and doctors say they are seeing patients with COVID of all ages, including children as young as five years old. They are now urging everyone to get vaccinated. Your chances of having severe illness, uh, illness to the level that you would need to be in the ICU, are infinitely smaller in the vaccinated people. Therefore, uh, being one of those people that has a long, prolonged uh, recovery, um, it, that chances go down because of the vaccine protecting you from the severe illness. The Department of Health will open more sites this week to give the monoclonal antibody therapy for COVID-19. Patients will need to be referred by their doctor in order to receive that treatment. There's a renewed push tonight for booster shots. Despite the FDA's concerns, Brian John picks up the story. Good evening. Hospitals, especially in the South, continue to deal with an overwhelming number of COVID patients, which is why leading health experts want to see this booster shot go out. Even though an FDA advisory committee rejected Pfizer's request to administer a third booster shot to the general public, the nation's health officials say that could change soon. We have to see how this plays out over the coming weeks because the data changes every day. On CBS's Face the Nation, NIH Director Dr. Francis Collins said it's only a matter of time before the recommendation is changed from just high-risk Americans and those over 65 to the general public. I think there will be a decision in the coming weeks to extend boosters beyond the list that they approved on Friday. And on NBC's Meet the Press, Dr. Anthony Fauci echoed that sentiment. You will see the data pointing mm -hmm. to the benefit of having a much broader blanket of people. Despite the focus on boosters, Dr. Fauci says the administration's main mission has not changed. Our highest priority still is getting the unvaccinated vaccinated and there should be no confusion about that.